Hey everybody, it's the Crafty Cryptid here with another video. Today we're talking aliens and UFOs, so if you like that kind of subject, please stay on this video. If you're new here, welcome. This is the Crafty Cryptid, a channel dedicated to the dark, the mysterious, the eerie, the bizarre. So if you enjoy that kind of content, make sure you subscribe and ding the notification bell and leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm below. All right, today I want to tell you guys about a crazy story that has been told to me my whole life. It was actually my grandmother's experience with a UFO. First, leading up to that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my own experiences. Now, I'm sure lots of you have seen things in the sky that you couldn't quite explain, right? And so that's what we call UFOs, unidentified flying objects, or they're by the US government, they're called UAPs, unidentified, I believe it's unidentified aerial phenomenon. Regardless, it's the same thing. Now, for me, in, in my whole life, I've kind of been obsessed with Roswell, with aliens, with UFOs. So, aliens have always given me the creeps. I hate them, but at the same time, I'm obsessed with them. I don't know why. I, I can't get enough of it. So, I don't know. There's probably some, some mental health issues that need to be worked out there. Anyway... <laughs> So, when I was a teenager, I lived kind of out in the middle of nowhere, okay? It was BFE, it was BFN, it was whatever you want to call it. It was the middle of nowhere in the country in a very small town. And I had a karate dojo that I often went to. And my sensei actually lived just outside of this little town on the other side of the little town from me. So, it took me about half an hour to get there from my house and he ran the dojo out of his barn. So he was a farmer, and then in his spare time, he also ran this dojo. He was a black belt, super tough guy, super, like, super respectable uh, older gentleman, loved my sensei, love him to pieces even now. I go to class in the dojo and uh, get through class, everything's great leave to drive home. And when I'm driving home, it's nothing but agricultural fields. I'm coming over a hill and I see this thing come out of the sky. It was like a red orb and it looked like it was just crashing to earth. It went zooming overhead. It went way into the trees and then it crashed in the trees like... God, I don't even know, half a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile away from my car. The weird thing is, it did not make a sound. I pulled my car over on the side of the road because I was so weirded out by this. And I listened, I could see the explosion of like an impact, you know, the, the dust come up, the light come up, didn't make a sound. I have no explanation for it even today. That is my experience with a UFO or a UAP. I was so freaked out. I drove straight home and I was like, I was shaking the entire time. Maybe not super interesting for a lot of you out there, but I'm telling you, I was scared shitless. Okay, so it was quite interesting for me. <laughs> Now, the super interesting story that I want to tell you is actually my grandmother's. So, when my grandmother was young and my mother was a very young child, I mean, I think she was in single-digit years at this point, they lived down in Florida and they, and they did a paper route. So, it was early, early morning hours that they were out there. It was like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. that they were out doing this paper route. And a lot of times my mom, when she was a little girl, wanted to go with my grandma on the paper route. So they got up and they went on the paper route. It's like four o'clock in the morning. It's barely like just, just starting to turn into morning light. It's still very dark outside. And they go up this hill and my grandma explains it. There was a flying saucer hovering over the house that they were about to deliver the newspaper to. 
She doesn't say it was a UFO. She knows what it was. It was not unidentified to her. She said it was a flying saucer, metallic, uh, with blinking lights all around it, and it was huge. It was, like, bigger than his house, and it was hovering over his house. My grandma insists that it was a, a metallic flying saucer just hovering silently, making no noise over this farmer's house. And she freaked out, th threw the car in reverse, and slammed on the accelerator and went rocketing back down the hill. They get to the bottom of the hill, and my grandma looks at my mom, who's a little kid at this point, and says, oh my gosh, what was that? And my mom says, let's go back and look at it. And my grandma's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. But eventually my mom, a little kid, convinces her, and she is kind of curious, so she creeps back up the hill, and the flying saucer is gone. Now here's where it gets weird. My grandma knows that when they were at the bottom of the hill, the second time when they reversed back down to the bottom of the hill, the sky was completely dark. And when, by the time they got back up, the hill the second time when the flying saucer was gone it was light out so in that span of i don't know 10 15 seconds it took to get up the hill suddenly all of this time passed now my grandma is convinced that she and my mom were abducted by aliens i don't know about that i can't say that for sure but i can say that in a lot of these ufo phenomenon stories Missing time is often experienced when people see UFOs, whether or not they were abducted or not. This is a very common phenomenon. So in my grandma's mind, she and my mom were abducted by aliens and then put back in their car with no memory of it several hours later. Whatever the explanation is, they lost a huge chunk of time and they were the only ones out on the road. And the farmer in the house that they were delivering to never saw the UFO, never saw the flying saucer. Now, I have asked my mom about this, and I've asked if she remembers this going on, because she was a very young kid when this happened. She said that she doesn't remember things exactly, but she does remember seeing something up on the hill, and then her mom, my grandma, freaking out and going back down. And then she remembers going back up the hill and the thing was no longer there. She can't say specifically if time was altered. She can't say specifically if it was a flying saucer, but she does remember the very skeleton version of those events. Do you guys have any of these experiences yourself? And if so, please leave your experiences down in the comments. I would love to read them. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you would like to help out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Stay safe, everybody, and come back soon, cryptids.